is it. This is Jerusalem, the true location. Namibia, this is Namibia. Namibia, officially the Republic of Namibia, it is a country in Africa, in Southwest Africa. Namibia shares borders with Angola, Botswana, and Zambia. On the western border of Namibia is the Atlantic Ocean. Namibia has gained its independence from South Africa on March 21st, 1990, following the Namibian War of Independence. Its capital and largest city is Windhoek. Namibia is a member state of the United Nations, the Southern African Development Community, the African Union, and the Commonwealth of Nations. Namibia has been inhabited since prehistoric times by the so-called Sand People, the Damara People, the Nama People, and with the Bantu expansion, the Bantu has populated Namibia. The largest of the Bantu group is the Ovambo people. In 1884, the German Empire established rule over Namibia with its German Southwest Africa colony. Namibia has an ancient history. It is in the land of Canaan, the ancient and historical Canaan. Namibia is the land where the children of Israel resided. Within Namibia are the 12 tribes and within Namibia is Jerusalem. Jerusalem is in the Keres region of Namibia. Keres is quake quake, and it means quiver tree. This is Jerusalem the ancient and authentic, historical and scriptural Jerusalem. It is located in Namibia, Southwest Africa. Jerusalem is located below the equator and below the Tropic of Capricorn. There is historical evidence for the true location of Jerusalem. One piece of historical evidence comes from Ptolemy. Ptolemy was an astronomer and a geographer. Ptolemy, he flourished in Egypt. But he was from Greece. He was a black Greek. Ptolemy wrote that around 90 AD, Julius Maternus undertook an expedition in Africa to South Africa. Ptolemy wrote how Maternus went below the equator and he went below the Tropic of Capricorn and he came to a land that was called Agisimba. The word Agisimba is Bantu and it means land of the lion and this can only refer to the tribe of Judah. Ptolemy wrote this in the early 2nd century AD. The disciples of Yahshua, they all die in the 1st century AD. This is the closeness of Ptolemy's writings, which means the word Agisimba was in use prior to Maternus arriving at Agisimba. 
Agus Simba was in use in the first century AD and prior. This is the evidence from Ptolemy's writing. This is just one piece of evidence from Ptolemy of the true location of Jerusalem in Agus Simba in the tribe of Judah below the Tropic of Capricorn. Another piece of evidence from Ptolemy is based on the writings of Marinus of Tyre, where he wrote how between the years 83 AD and 92 AD, the king of Garamantes, this king said the inhabitants of Agis Simba were his subjects. Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a hill city located in the hill country of the tribe of Judah. It is situated on two mountains. Jerusalem has a rugged and treacherous landscape that protects the access to the city from the east and west. Jerusalem is built, structured, and situated on two mountains set in an east and west position the western mountain is higher and broader than the eastern mountain. The western mountain, it is bound on the west and the south by the Hinnom Valley. The eastern mountain, which is the narrower and lower mountain, it is bound on the east by the Kidron Valley. The Kidron Valley, it flows in a north and south direction and it goes all the way to the Dead Sea. Jerusalem has a third valley, which Josephus calls the Valley of the Cheesemongers. And this valley, it runs through the city. Jerusalem is supposed to be empty, desolate, and uninhabited. And this is in accordance to the Jeremiah, chapter 9 verse 11 prophecy the Jerusalem in Namibia it is as scriptures say that it is it is desolate and it is uninhabited this Jerusalem fits Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 11 the cities of Judah are also desolate and uninhabited and we find this to be true and the location of Namibia. Jerusalem is supposed to be burnt, and this is in accordance to the 70 AD destruction of Jerusalem. And the cities of Judah are supposed to be burnt, and this is also in accordance with the 132 to 136 AD destruction of Judah. Both of these historical events, they fulfill the prophecy found in Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 11. There are six Roman roads that run through the area of Jerusalem and these roads are still visible today. Golgotha is approximately 1.7 miles west of Jerusalem. North of Jerusalem are the Judean Hills. 
and northwest of Jerusalem lies Hebron. Hebron is a hill city. This is the city where Abraham, when he left Egypt, he journeyed south to Mamre. Mamre is a city, a town, a village in Hebron. Hebron is where Jacob and Isaac dwelt, along with the twelve tribes of Israel. They all lived and dwelt in Hebron. Northeast of Jerusalem is Beersheba, a big hill city. Beersheba was heavily populated, and it too is burnt to a crisp, along with Hebron. Hebron was burnt as well, and both of these cities were burnt during the 132 to 136 AD destruction. Jerusalem is not located in Ethiopia, Abyssinia. It is not located in Lesotho. nor Angola. Jerusalem is not located in Botswana. Jerusalem is not located in the so-called Middle East. And Jerusalem is not located in Lalabella, Lalabella, Ethiopia. There is no Jerusalem, no historical Jerusalem, no biblical Jerusalem located there. There are many elements that must be present at the same time in order for Jerusalem to be located in any area within Africa and outside of Africa. These elements, they are Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, they must be burnt. There must be a residue of burntness. Jerusalem and the city of Judah, they must be desolate and uninhabited. And this is in accordance to Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 11. No one is supposed to be living there. There must be at least six Roman roads around Jerusalem and one of those roads it must lead from Jerusalem from Judah all the way north to the Roman Empire and the Roman Empire is really the Lydian Empire but this road it is still visible to this day so there must be a Roman road that extends from the Lydian Empire, which is the uh, fictitious Roman Empire, it must extend all the way to Jerusalem. There must be three main valleys around Jerusalem. The Kidron Valley must be present, the Hinnom Valley must be present, the Valley of the Cheesemongers must be present, the Gihon Springs must be present, Bethany, it must be present and located near the Mount of Olives. The Dead Sea, which is called Lake Asphalitis, that must be present and at a distance of 10.6 miles southeast of Jerusalem. Jericho must be present at a dis distance of 10 miles southeast of Jerusalem. Bethalog must be present and at a distance of 7 miles south of Jerusalem. Bethlehem must be present around six miles south of Jerusalem. Golgotha must be present at a distance of 1.7 miles west of Jerusalem. Two mountain ranges must be present and one must be along the eastern wall and the other along the northern wall of Jerusalem. Mount of Olives must be present. Mount Scopus must be present. Mount of Corruption must be present. Mount Nebo, which is also called Mount Abarim, 
that must be present and near Jericho. The Judean hills must be present. Hebron must be present and at a distance of 8.1 miles northwest of Jerusalem. Beersheba must be present and set at a distance of 13.2 miles northeast of Jerusalem. Adassa must be present, Ramallah, Bethel, the tribe of Reuben, tribe of Benjamin, tribe of Simeon, Mount Zion, Mount Moriah, and many, many more elements and sites. All of these must be present at the same time in order for any location and claim of Jerusalem to be the true, authentic, historical, biblical, and scriptural Jerusalem. All of these elements must be present at the same time because they authenticate the true location of the historical and biblical Jerusalem. Jerusalem does not exist in Angola. It does not exist in Lesotho. Jerusalem does not exist in Lalibela, Ethiopia. Jerusalem does not exist in the Middle East. There is only one location on the globe where all of these elements are present with many, many more elements. And that location is Namibia, Southwest Africa, in the Karaj region. And the Karaj region is important because it refers to the quiver tree. And the quiver tree, it is found in the Torah. And the quiver tree is just one certain floor that authenticates the true location of Jerusalem, as well as many other sites, rivers and mountains of Israel. This is Jerusalem, its true location in Namibia.